Hello, and as we continue our look ahead to the final of the Conan Annie Kirby Memorial at Limerick on Saturday night, we are now with our stripes runner, Stone Park Leo, and the young man joining me is the man that you see on the card, Master Michael Sean O'Dwyer. I'm not going to be calling you Master Michael, should I? I think I'll no. just call you Michael. Michael, obviously great thrill to have a dog, you know, at this early stage in his career, so well in advance, they're already in a Kirby final with a chance to win €80,000. He's only had the six starts. I suppose this is what dreams are made of. Uh, sure, it's absolutely fantastic, uh, Ian. He's really progressed through the competition and uh, as you can see from Saturday night, it was fantastic run, done everything right, broke, great section to the first bend, 16 seconds into the third bend and just held on and won. He beat a very good field and, and uh, just brilliant to be in the final of it. Yeah, I'm going to bring it back to the opening round because it was that night he was racing from Trapo and he completely left yeah. in boxes, switched wide, shot unbelievable pace down the back straight, seemed to hit a false patch or something at the third bend. He checked his stride, but it was a real eye catcher. You know, it you know it didn't take a, an expert eye to spot him. Um, it was a brilliant run. But even at that early stage, as much pace as he showed, you know, you could tell there was still a long way to go to get a dog to the likes of a Kirby final. But as you said, through each and every round, he's improved. You know, Mark O'Dwyer, his father, Michael, they know how to do a greyhound. But this fellow, I dare say, the fact that you even entered him as Kirby suggests you knew he could run a bit. Yeah, he's just, he he was, uh, he ran in the on race to Plum Mill and was third. And then, then he went to, um, Waterford, he'd done the sprint, 17.51, very good run for 3.25 there, and, uh, and then on to Limerick, and uh, yeah, he, we knew from early on, we had him ourselves here at home, and we school, reared him and we schooled him, and uh, we had him, and uh, he looked he looked very promising, so we sent him to Martin, and I suppose the rest is history, we're in the, we're in the Kirby final now. Yeah, and more, more importantly, you're in trap six, you've got a great draw, you know, in theory, he should be leading up Bally McMurlin, four is diving inwards, three is going inwards, um, you know, are you allowing yourselves to dream, like, well, what's the ideal scenario, he pops out, hits the front and there's traffic on the inside and he's six clear into the back sure. straight. If he could do, if he could do a replica of what he did Saturday night, we'd be in with a great chance and maybe, like I suppose, the dog in one uh, could move out a bit and sure sing along. She could go straight into the rail or anything could happen if he if and he should have a clear run up in it. And if he if he if he did what, if he does what he did Saturday night, he he's a great chance. I think. I mean, He's definitely strengthening up. You know, again, yeah. there's no question last week, he, he ran right to the line, 28-25 around Limerick. You know, only a handful of dogs mm -hmm. do it. Um where do you think has has we reached the ceiling yet with him or do you think there's more to come? Well, I suppose he's, he's lightly enough raced and um and to be be beaten a field like that, um I'd say he'd be yeah, he's probably sure any dog that's doing twenty eight, twenty five in like when did they reach their ceiling, you know, they're they're, yeah. they're going fairly well at that time, aren't they? So Yeah, you don't you don't really need to improve it. an awful lot is what you're no, saying. He'd be happy enough, yeah. Twenty eight twenty five could easily win it on Saturday night given the given the way the makeup of the race. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. If he, yeah, if he gets out in front, sure, anything can happen. Now, you're going to have to tell us about Stone Park. Obviously, it's a very famous uh, prefix. You've been involved and your family have been involved in dogs a long, long time. You've had some really good dogs. And, you know, you, you, you see the Stone Park prefix over in England selling dogs across the UK and whatnot. Um, it's the townland, is it? The local townland? Yeah, it's our address here. Stone Park House is our address. And uh, we, we breed flat horses here at home, so... And we've kept a good few dogs, and um, we got it from got it from then. I suppose the coursing was our big thing, and then and then we got a good few track dogs and had them with the O'Donovans, and sure, we've had plenty of good ones. But this is actually our first runner in the Kirby, so get to the final with your first runner. You're not doing too bad, you know. You sure aren't. <laughs> you might enter another one next year. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Sure, we'll have to find one first of all. Good enough for us. It's a big problem. Um, you said yourself, you you reared them yourselves. Um, yeah. You obviously have a, a big enough operation down there. Um, yeah. All hands on deck, is it? Oh, it's just busy now, and we've mares fallen, and uh, it's just hectic. But the, the weather's good today, so we can't complain. And um, yeah, we bought him off of John Rainsford. Uh, he lives about ten minutes over the road from us there at Adam and Jim, out of Adam and Jim. John sent out plenty of good dogs and bred them, and uh, we bought him. He came here about three or four months. And um, we were him 
came up in school, him and uh, John, his brother to Riverside Leo as well. So the the breeding is there, and um, sure. It's great to be in the final level. Anyway. He's from a good litter, um, but you know, as good as the rest of them are, it seems that Stone Park Leo is the one that's. Uh, yeah. He's continued the trajectory. He just keeps getting better and better. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I suppose to pick him and uh, and, and then call him Leo as well. Another thing, and the other dog was Riverside Leo, and then Stone Park Leo, and probably as good as each other now. You know, so it's uh, unreal, really. So the key is get the dog well, keep him in, in good order. And um, Mark is as he is he happy with the dog this week? Yeah, he's in great form. Yeah, and he's delighted with him. Sure, did a great success last night in Waterford. So with Skywalker Barrier and then the Waterford Slick Sticks. So long may the, the good form continue. Yeah, of course. Um, there's plenty of history in the family, of course. Uh, Derby wins and mm-hmm. coursing Derby wins, and mm-hmm. you know what they don't know about greyhounds isn't worth knowing. No, it's just. just they're, they're exceptional in everything they do with them. And they're, they're, they're credit to the dogs, are credit to them. They're just brilliant. Tell us about your own family in terms of um, the, 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 you were telling us you, you breed flat horses and obviously been involved mm-hmm. in dogs for a long, long time. What have your best successes been you know, with horses, dogs, course dogs, whatever? Was about three years ago, we bred a, uh, he won a group one in, in England and he won um, South Seas was his name he bred a group one winner and he actually won a group three as well so that was probably the best success with the horses and uh, I suppose we've had plenty of we've had plenty of fast dogs with, with the other ones and, and Mark and uh, Wingman is probably I see you right yeah. he won the Kilkenny Derby I see him plenty of write-ups about him that you put up in the <laughs> talking dogs oh, great but he was he was a fast dog he won the Kilkenny Derby and um and then we had another one, Stump Park Noel. He was in the Derby, Irish Derby about three years ago. I'd say he was just exceptionally fast. You, you often commentated on him in that. And um, he was he was in the second round of the Derby. He won. He, he drew Peace Dave. He was in sort of the third round. He just ragged him into the third bend. He went on 29 on 58. I think he won. Yeah. It's uh, obviously um, it's obviously something you have a graph for yourself. Yeah, we had two few fights. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah I love love everything about it, and sure, it couldn't get any better when you're in the final of a Corby, could it? Now the eighty grand, if you happen to win it, is it all yours or what? What's the what's the uh, the, the, the divvy? There'll be plenty of hens to to, to pick out of it. <laughs> We also have to ask you, of course, you're a local runner. You know, uh, Limerick Track is only 10 minutes up the road from you. Um, you are representing a GEA club, of course, Castletown, Bally Grand. It's not your own GEA club. What's your own GEA club? Yeah, it's supposed to be Bally Bricken. They live about, they're about five minutes up the road. That would be Bally Bricken. Yeah, but more. I think, they were, I think they were knocked out, but shoot, the way it goes. And... Yeah. So it'd be a bit strange, though, your dog running for a different GEA club, will it? Yeah, I don't mind what GA club he wins as long as he, <laughs> he crosses that line in front. Yeah, well, that's fair enough. <laughs> Mike, you're, you're you're in school yourself. What's the plans in the future? What line of work do you want to go into? Do you want to do, you want to do um, something involving the dogs or the horses? Or your parents push you the other way. Yeah, well, I suppose I'll have to go to college, I suppose, and do some, something like that. But uh, I'll always, there'll always be dogs here anyway. We love them. So they're, just, they're a great hobby and a pest time. And, just brilliant all around, you know, and just give a few hospitals, I suppose, to see how he got on. You will see how you get on it, right? I know, I know exactly what you're saying. The grin says it all. Um, it's Wednesday now, as we're speaking. You have three more sleeps, shall we say? <clears throat> In a dream scenario, how does Saturday night go? Well, I suppose come Friday morning, we won't be doing much sleep on Friday night and into Saturday. But uh, I'm sure a dream scenario is to win the Kirby is, you know, but it's just great to be in the final and the sponsorship is outstanding from JP and Noreen and McManus family. It's brilliant. And um, I suppose if you if you could break like you did Saturday night, um, it's like it's a brilliant feel. Like it's, it's as good as a derby final, you know, when you look at it really. And if you could break like you did on Saturday night, you'd have a, you'd have a very good chance. So hopefully. You get I was... Go on. Well, you know, if he gets out in front, at the, whichever dog breaks and whichever dog gets that bend in front, the first bend they'll win the car because there's nothing coming from behind. Like, so if I offered you a two length lead off the second bend, you'd take my hand off. <laughs> I'd take everything I'd say. <laughs> Listen, Mike, enjoy the build up, enjoy the night, and who knows, we might have to give you a call next week to get a reaction to your success in the Kirby. That'd be a nice that'd be a nice phone call to get. 
It's brilliant, Shireen, and uh, it's just fantastic thrill to be in it, and can't wait for it. It's great. Listen, Michael, enjoy it, and uh, we'll talk to you again. Best of luck. Thanks very much, Ian.